Hi, I'm Abdullah Hamdi, and I'm going to present our ICCV paper, MVTN, Multi-View Transformation Network for 3D Shape Recognition. This work is from our IVO group at KAUST, led by Dr. Bernard Ghanem. 3D point clouds are widely used for 3D representation in computer vision due to compactness, flexibility, and because they come naturally from sensors like LiDAR and RGBD cameras. On the other hand, humans don't have 3D sensors. We are naturally looking into objects from different angles. We rely on the images projected to our eyes to identify the 3D world. Multi-view approaches are the oldest form of deep learning for 3D understanding with the introduction of MVCNN in 2015. The benefits of multi-view at the time were clear, leveraging the 2D computer vision architectures and methods like CNNs leveraging large labeled and diverse 2D image datasets like ImageNet and providing a simple 3D processing pipeline. A line of works continued the development on multi-view like RotationNet and most recently ViewGCN which we used in this work. But these methods use heuristic approaches for selecting fixed views and mostly rely on pre-rendered image datasets. Such heuristics may not be optimal to get the best possible results. We aim to do a dynamic setup relying on online rendering to enhance the downstream tasks by learning to regress viewpoints adaptively for each shape. Actually, this active setup is how children learn about objects by changing the viewpoints and interacting with the 3D world. Our MVTN is trained end-to-end -end with the multi-view network without extra supervision. This is the MVTN pipeline. It consists of a differentiable renderer R that renders the object S according to some scene parameters U to get the multi-view images X. The goal of MVTN is to predict the parameters U, which are the azimuth and elevation angles in this work, for every object S. We extract coarse features from the object and learn an MLP to predict the scene parameters. The pipeline is trained end-to-end -end without in with only the task loss, which is cross-entropy for classification. Here we show how these learned viewpoints for the car object differ from fixed, circular, or spherical viewpoints. We used PyTorch 3D for both differentiable mesh rendering, when mesh data is available, and differentiable point cloud rendering, when only 3D point clouds are available. The datasets we used include ModelNet 40 for classification and retrieval, ShapeNet Core 55 for retrieval, and ScanObjectNN that consists of realistic 3D scans of objects, which has three variants. Our ModelNet 40 results show competitive performance. The highlighted setup shows our implementation with PyTorch 3D Renderer, which shows our MVTN achieves higher overall accuracy than state-of-the-art ViewGCN with 93.8%, and even higher than Point Transformer from this ICCV. On the realistic scan object NN dataset, we achieve state-of-the-art on all the three variants, with up to 6% improvement in the case where background is combined with the object. On 3D shape retrieval on both ModelNet 40 and ShapeNet Core 55, MVTN sets new state-of-the-art performance on both datasets in terms of retrieval mean AP. Here, we show some qualitative examples of shape retrieval. We also evaluate the robustness of our MVTN approach to rotation by randomly rotating the object in test time around gravity axis. MVTN performs better than strong baseline specialized to this task of rotation robustness. Another robustness aspect we study in is the occlusion, which is an important factor that affects scanned data. To simulate occlusion, we crop the object from its fa six faces with different percentages, 0 to 75%, and from different directions. Here we show how the objects are affected by cropping them with different occlusion ratios and from four different canonical directions. These occlusions are introduced in test time. Here we show the average test accuracy in ModelNet 40 over the six canonical occlusion directions, plus minus x, plus minus y, and plus minus z, for different occlusion ratios. MVTN shows more robustness in this setup than the baselines. We can plot the test accuracy versus the number of views used in training MVCNN. Using the learned MVTN views achieve consistent 2% improvement over fixed or random baselines across multiple number of views. Please check the paper and code for more details. Thank you.